Hey guys, it's Asha. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a reading vlog. So basically, it's just a reading vlog of some books that I'm currently reading or a book that I am currently reading. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this if I'm going to finish this book and read another book or if I'm just going to finish the book that I'm currently reading. But currently, I am reading Happy Place by Emily Henry. So I was going to give you guys some updates as we go through. This will be completely spoiler free, of course, because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't read it yet because I know it kind of just recently came out. I'm actually reading it on my Kindle even though the cover is so cute and I love it. I would rather get the actual cover if I really like it like when the paperback comes out versus the hardcover and also the hardcover is like over $20 so I just decided to buy it on my Kindle which I got a new Kindle case today so let me show you my Kindle. I hopped on the clear Kindle case um trend i don't even know i just have a clear case on my kindle now and i put stickers that are from Redbubble inside they're just bookish stickers like if you search up bookish stickers you can find them on Redbubble and then my kindle but i also ordered a clear pop socket to put on the back of this because i had one but it broke and it wasn't like a real pop socket anyway so it'll be good to get a clear one just put on the back of this and i can hold it and stuff and read it on here so i'm currently reading happy place and I am on page, one minute please, okay, I am on chapter 11, page 120 out of 388, I kind of would like to finish this today, so we'll see if we can finish it, I was in a really bad reading slump last month and only read one book, and so far this month I've read two books, which one of them I started in the very end of May, and it was actually my book club book for May. But Happy Place is actually my book club's book for June. So if you want to join the book club, we won't be talking about the book till the very end of the month. Um, and we are reading Happy Place. So you can join it. The link will be in the description box below in case you're interested and want to join it on Patreon. And we also have a Discord chat that we text each other in throughout the month. And then we have a live video at the very end of the month where we all discuss the book. So that's the current book. But I really wanted to read it because I've heard so many good things about it. I'm not a huge fan of Emily Henry. I read Beach Read and People Meet on Vacation. I haven't read Book Lovers yet, even though I do have it. I'm actually really liking this one so far. Recently, I feel like when I've been reading, I'm really into the imagery, and I feel like Emily Henry has such great imagery. Like, she just describes everything so, so good, and it sounds so pretty in this little beachy town in Maine. This is definitely a really good summer read, and I think reading it right now, it just makes it that much better. Also, of course, there's some weird Kindle ad on my screen that's what i'm currently reading which i read last night and also today i got a stanley cup and i wasn't gonna do this okay i have seen the stanley cups and i was like there's no way i'd ever spend that much money on a water bottle i was not i wasn't gonna do it and then miss sarah caroli got a stanley cup and she put really cute stickers on it and so that just set me off and i know destiny said well has one too and i always see hers and like hers is so cute but i was just i was holding off holding off and then I saw how cute Sarah decorated hers and I had to get it so I got a Stanley cup and I decorated it with more stickers that I got on Redbubble so this is the cup it's like the 30 ounce one so it was a lot like $10 cheaper than the bigger one and it's I think a nicer size so this is what it looks like I like it so far I can't say too much about it because I haven't I've literally had it for like an hour and I haven't really used it that much so far just because I've been um, making like TikToks and stuff like that. So I'll keep you updated with how I like it, but I just think it's so cute. And I know people say it motivates them to want to drink more water, but I feel like this is my emotional support reading water bottle now, and I love it. And also I have my emotional support Kindle as we see on the thing. But I got this case from Amazon too, by the way. I don't know if I said that. The Stanley Cup I got from Lowe's because on the website you can order one, but it's like $10 for shipping. So I wanted to go pick it up in real life. So I got this from Lowe's, it's a 30 ounce, and it's like in the cream color, I guess, I don't know. But we're gonna go outside on the patio, and we are going to read, hopefully a good amount. It's pretty nice out right now, I think it might be a little hot, but I feel like it'll be fine, so we're gonna go and read. I'm really excited because I'm really liking this book so far. <laughs>
154, which is 41% of the way through. First of all, I got some food here. It's the butter chicken from Trader Joe's. It's my first time trying it. It's pretty good so far. It's a little spicy, which I'm nervous about because I hope it doesn't hurt my stomach. But I was gonna say, is I really, really like this book so far, and I really, really like the way that Emily Henry writes their love. It's so cute, and I have so many quotes highlighted. It goes back and forth between like real life and happy place, which is back when she was happy, essentially. Um, and like when she was falling in love with this guy and then now when they are not together anymore but they're trying to keep a secret that they're not together and that's not a spoiler because that's probably on the back of the book you get to know that like right away but again the imagery is so good since they're in like a little beach house in maine and they're going to all these fun places and cute little bookstores and stuff like that so i'm really liking it so far that's my little update um, but I'm gonna keep reading and we'll see where we get. I feel like every time I get to 50 way percent through, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna finish the book. Cause it's so easy to read on Kindle, but my Kindle is gonna die soon. It's at 23%. So I might need to charge it, but we're gonna keep reading. I am in the same spot as I was the last time I updated you, but I'm on page 229, so I am 60% of the way through. And now that I'm at 60% of the way through, I just have to finish this book tonight. There's literally no way I can't. Once I hit the 60% mark on my Kindle, I'm done for. So I think there's only 120-ish more pages or something. Let me see. There's, wait, that's like over, it's like 150 pages, I think. Okay. Actually, I'm really bad at math, so you can't like act like I'm, you can't trust what I'm saying, but I'm on page 229 out of 388. So we're gonna keep reading, but I'm gonna go inside and get ready for bed. It's only like nine o'clock and it's so nice outside, but I just want to take a bath and get ready for bed. So I'm gonna keep reading in the bath. This has just turned into a little readathon of this book now, hasn't it? But it's so good, so let's go. Mm -hmm. quietly because my brother's sleeping and I don't want to wake him up but I just finished the book also my face looks a little bit greasy because I put moisturizer on but I finished the book I gave it a four stars I really really am surprised I've heard so many good things about this book but I'm surprised because I wasn't a fan of Emily Henry's other books and so I'm really glad that we read this one this month for the book club. I absolutely love the banter. Like it's just so fun and I feel like that's exactly how I am. And I feel like I could relate to so much of it and I loved it so much. And I also really loved how she talked about anxiety and like how she depicted it. And I have so many quotes highlighted from this so I really really liked it and would recommend it even if you don't love any of emily henry's other books i feel like you should definitely read it i literally started it yesterday and finished it today um and some of it frustrated me a little bit but definitely a good read and if you're in the book club we will talk a lot more about it in depth 
um, on there. But that's my little spiel that I'll also include in my monthly reading wrap up. But four out of five stars for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I'm done reading. But I love you all so much and appreciate you for watching this video. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you in my next video and I hope you guys had a good reading weekend and are having a good reading month so far. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye!